Uh, you know, I can remember when the UFC lost Tito Ortiz, and everybody thought this was going to be detrimental. Well, within six weeks, Dana White built up a character out of a guy called Andre Orlovsky into the, the greatest, most feared fighter of all time. And he dumped all sorts of money and all sorts of media, and it caught on like that. The fans widely recognized Andre as the, the most feared fighter in the world. The truth was he was 8-4, and four, and all four guys that beat him were bums. Okay? All eight guys that he beat were mid-card at best. But because Dana White says Andre's the best, he became the best. Uh, that's the brilliance of the UFC. So who is actually the best fighters in the world? I know guys that are great fighters that, uh, that, that you wouldn't even know their names. That They're in the practice room right now. They've never been given their shot. So are we seeing the best fighters against the best fighters? No. But the real truth is nobody knows who the best fighter is. MMA doesn't have... Uh, there, there's no competitive architecture in mixed martial arts. If you want to know who the best wrestler in the world is, go watch the Olympic Games. Everybody with a heartbeat is welcome to compete. They will have a process, a competitive architecture where it constantly gets broken down until there is one man standing on the entire planet. Uh, the UFC doesn't work that way. There's, there's no rules to get into the UFC. You could be a great fighter and never even, never even get a UFC contract. You can be the best fighter in the UFC and you don't have enough draw power to get on the main card. You could be on the main card and you don't have enough fans behind you to get you into the main event. That's the business side of it. That's not the fault of the UFC, and a lot of people don't understand that. They fault the UFC for that. No, this is a business first. The UFC's got to turn a profit, and people need to understand that, or any show. I'm using UFC, for example, since it's the most commonly known entity out there, but for any show, that's the primary goal. So the best guys fighting the best guys, nobody knows because people don't actually know who the best guy is. Uh, talk to me about the fight with Fedor. Why was this such a...